You first want to grab three of these black foam boards from Dollar Tree. These boards measure at 30 inches, so I just left them the way that they were. And now I'm just using my measuring tape and I'm just marking every five inches. I did that at the top and the bottom just to make sure that I have nice even lines. And then grab a long piece of wood or a yardstick using a ballpoint pen. You're just going to run the pen down the foam board and this is going to create an indent in the foam board. So this is going to act as the wood slats of the barn. So for that piece of foam board, I went vertically. So the second piece of foam board, again, I kept it at the 30 inches, but now this time I'm going to be making the lines horizontally. So again, using my measuring tape, measuring off at that five inches at the top and the bottom. And then just using a very long stick to ensure my lines are completely straight. And then just using that ballpoint pen to create an indent in that foam board. And then I'm just using one of my box cutters just to cut off one of those slats. You're going to want to save that in just a little bit. So now we're going to put both of the pieces of foam board together. Again, one of the lines should be going vertically, the other should be going horizontally. So go ahead and grab that slat that we cut off that's going to be the piece that holds both of the foam boards together using my famous Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue. I just placed that where I want that extra slat to go and just held that down until all the glue was completely adhered. And this is what you should have right now. So now using my measuring tape, the foam board that has the lines going horizontally, I'm just finding the center of it. So that's going to be 15 inches. And where I marked it, that's where I'm going to put down my stick. And I'm just having it go in a diagonal so it meets the corner of where the two foam boards meet. And I just did the same thing to the other side and just used my box cutter to cut off that foam board. And now you have the shape of your barn. So I know the traditional barn is red, but I wanted my barn to be white so it could match with everything. So I am using Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. Again, you can paint this whatever color you would like. I'm just using a chip brush. I am just putting a small amount of the chalk paint on my brush and I'm just applying it in dry brush strokes. So just very light brush strokes is all you need because you want that black foam board to kind of peek through and that is what creates that weathered barn look. And look at how awesome that looks. Go ahead and just allow that to completely dry. Now I'm just measuring the roof portion of the barn and then grabbing that third piece of foam board. I'm measuring at 23 inches because that was the size of the top of the roof. Just again, using my box cutter to cut down those pieces and I cut a total of two of them. And the width of them is the width of my stick that I'm using. So it was about one and a half inches. So now I'm just placing it at the side of the roof, finding out where I need to mark it. So where I'm marking it is where it's going to fit on those slats. So I just did that to both pieces and then for the very tip of the roof, again, just measured out where 
I needed to mark it so that the foam boards will fit perfectly and then just applied some of that adhesive glue with the mixture of hot glue, held those pieces down until they were completely adhered. I did just want to mention that some of the sides were white because of the foam board that I cut. So I did just apply some Waverly chalk paint in the color ink just to cover up those white portions. I wanted this to all be one color. So now let's work on the barn door. So I measured my foam board at eight inches. Again, using my long stick to make sure that they are completely even, just grabbing my box cutter and cutting that all the way down. The width, again, is the width of the stick I'm using, which is, again, about one and a half inches, and I cut a total of four pieces. So cutting and measuring the door is almost the same way that I did the roof. You wanna just find where those pieces are going to meet and cut them with the box cutter to make sure that they are all aligned. Once you have that all put together, again, just apply some hot glue on the back of the foam board and hold those pieces down until they're completely adhered. And then the same thing with the inside of the door. You wanna just find where those pieces are going to meet, mark it off with a pen or I'm using a piece of chalk and just cut those pieces down with your box cutter. Once they're all measured out and cut out, apply some hot glue on the back and hold those down until they're completely adhered. And then you could put just a wreath at the top decorate it however you would like. I hope this inspires you guys to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much, and I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.